Aserehe, ha, de re, de rebetu de rebere saibiu no uva mahabi and the and the de pi. What? Today I'm gonna comment verse by verse the weird lyrics of Aserehe by Last Ketchup. At first I'm gonna comment just the lyrics, then I'm gonna bring some additional information so that we can see what else we can think about the lyrics. Let me know in the comments down below what should be the next lyrics analyzed and let's begin with the title. Aserehe. Well, it's not a real word, so let's go to the verses. Look what's coming around the corner, Diego comes dancing rumba with the moon in his pupils. So the character here, Diego, is coming around the corner dancing, but he has the moon in his pupils. What does it mean? We could think that it means that he's looking at the moon, maybe it's just a reflection of the moon, it would mean that it's nighttime, or it could mean that he's seductive, charming, maybe he's in love, or we could also think that he has dilated pupils, so they look big, round, like the moon. It could be an indication that he used drugs, maybe hallucinogens, marijuana, we don't know. And his aquamarine suit with leftover contraband, or remains of contraband. So the moon in his pupils really means that he has taken drugs. And some of those drugs got on his suit, or he still has some in his pockets. And where there is no more room for a soul, there he goes to have a drink. Kanya can have different meanings, but in this context, it indicates that he's going to have a drink. So there's alcohol there, so it's probably a nightclub, a crowded club. Because there is also music, possessed by the ragatanga beat or ragatanga rhythm. Apparently, ragatanga is a made-up word and it probably describes the beat, the rhythm that he's hearing. So Diego starts dancing in the middle of a tight crowd, possessed by the ragatanga rhythm. And the DJ who knows him plays the 12 o'clock anthem or the midnight anthem for Diego, the most desired song. So the DJ knows him and plays his most wanted or his favorite song. And Diego dances it and enjoys it and sings it. But what is this song, this midnight anthem? What we know is that it's a song with a beat that he enjoys listening to, dancing to, and singing along to, in this case, in the club, under the influence of drugs, and at night, at midnight. And maybe these are the perfect conditions for him to listen to the song, and that's why it would be called the midnight anthem. And then, a serehe, ha, de re, de rebetu de rebere sebiu no uva mahabi and de bugi and de buidi de pi. What? It, it makes no sense. All of these words here, they are not translated because they are made up words. But what we can think here is that maybe this is the midnight anthem. Okay, but let's see if in the rest of the lyrics we have any clue about this part or about what would be this midnight anthem. It is not a witchcraft thing that I find him every day wherever I am walking. Diego has cockiness or Diego has charm. Chuleria can be both. And that touch of joy, Afro-Romani Rastafarian. Okay, let's slow down here so that we try to understand this part. So, Diego may be a Rastafarian. If so, it could be an indication that the possible drug he used is marijuana. But many Rastafarians don't use cannabis recreationally and just use it during rites, because it's something related to religion to them. Anyway, it could still be an indication, as we don't know if who wrote the lyrics knows this information. And what is also indicated here is that Diego is a mix of cultures and ethnicities. He's probably black, Afro, Romani, Gitano, Spanish, because Las Ketchup are from Spain, and Rastafarian. And when they say that it's not a witchcraft thing, that they find him every day, and that he has that touch of joy, it means that they find him not by coincidence, not by chance, but because he's always outside walking, dancing with joy. So chuleria wouldn't be cockiness, but more like charm. And then they repeat the beginning when he goes into the club, and that's it. And what is that gibberish part? Is it the midnight anthem? I can say that yes, it is. 
someone on Twitter found out that it's related to Rapper's Delight by the Sugar Hill Gang. But how could it be possible if it makes no sense? If we consider that Diego is going to a club at night taking drugs and isn't a native speaker of English, maybe all of this influences his comprehension of English or makes him mispronounce the lyrics. So he either sings it incorrectly because he is drugged or because he doesn't speak or doesn't understand English. Here is a side-by-side -side comparison of the lyrics. So we can see that a sereje, ha, de he, de hebe to de hebe se ibi uno uva, mahabi and the boogie and the buidi di pi, is probably him trying to say, I said the hip hop, the hippie, the hippie to the hip hip hop, and you don't stop, the rocket to the boogie of the boogie the beat. As we can see here, maybe he's even skipping some words. It's hard to find an exact match exactly because it's someone who's drugged and or doesn't understand or doesn't speak English. And this part is so weird that it generated some controversy. Although the group has explained that a serehe is a meaningless word derived from rapper's delight, some people, especially in Latin America, think that the gibberish lyrics include hidden demonic references. Some of the demonic parts would be a serehe, because it would sound kind of similar to a ser herehe, or let's be heretical, ya de he de he tu de hebere would could sound kind of similar to Jehovah deja tu ser, Jehovah, the name of God, let go of your being, because Ha would be the beginning of the tetragrammaton. This here that is transliterated as this here, which is Jehovah, the name of God in the Hebrew Bible. The other supposedly satanic line would be and where there is no more room for a soul it would be a reference to hell and also and the dj who knows him plays the midnight anthem it would be a reference to the fact that satanic rituals supposedly occur at midnight and because all of this even a television station in the Dominican Republic banned the song. And even in Brazil, there is a version of the song in Portuguese, a group called Ruge, but with the same gibberish lyrics. And some people also thought that it's something demonic. But in my opinion, it makes no sense. And it's just the mind of some people who are extremely superstitious and think that many mainstream songs are demonic. Because I don't think that just these elements that I just commented are enough to affirm that it's about hell or something satanic. That's it. Let me know in the comments down below what's your interpretation of the lyrics and what should be the next lyrics analyzed. If you would like to support my work here, you can subscribe, watch my other videos and consider becoming a patron. This way you help me keep doing more videos like this. That's it. Thanks for watching and ciao.